Hi everyone, welcome back to Dark Shadow Plays Superliminal on Sunday. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to be uh, calling this uh, in the future, but we'll call it Sunday Superliminals. Let's continue, carry on where we left off, and hopefully there's no more bloody horror in this. <laughs> um, we'll carry on. Oh, more alarms. Don't need enough of those. Oh, we're very slow there for some reason. Thank you. 3 a.m. Oh, don't want to go back to bed. Okay, let's go. Disconnect power before opening condenser fan grill. There are no, oh, they're up there, okay. Nope, bloody. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, um, 8. No. Error. Oh. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. I'll be standing by. So a suitcase without a handle. Okie dokie then. Oh, two, one. This machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. It's a fountain. What's it going to start? There's a window. Okie dokie, let's carry on. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Yes. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Stairs. Woohoo. Stairs work. Um, okay. It's a projector. I need a projector for whom? Can I open any of these? No, I can't. There's a projector screen. I'm going round in circles here. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. <laughs> Reformulating. Give me a brush. No, okay. The pipe's just on the floor. Literally going around in circles, am I? Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Oh. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency <laughs> destroyed. Wake up! Instruction. Okay. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Um. Oh. That just switched. That wasn't edit. Did not enjoy that. Okay. Why are these ones brown in here? Ah! We didn't stop it. We didn't even get very far on that one. I'm gonna wake up again, aren't I? I'm gonna leave it going. Oh, there's no door. Okay, so the door only opens when you turn off the alarm. Nope. Oh. Oh, 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 well, what's going on there? Oh, that's really weird. Okay. What the flip? <laughs> I'm very confused. There's a knife. I hear an alarm. What's going on? It's different. Don't like different. Uh, okay. I hear a train. No, it's not a train, it's just music. Can I go through? Oh, I need to make you larger, don't I? Oh, okay, hold on. I need to make you small first. There. Then.
weird. Okay. Come on, Glenn. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation oh, Protocol. Now completed, have we? Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Oh. I don't like that. Are we going around in circles again? No. Okay. Come on in, Glenn. Talk to me. Oh my god! What the f... <sighs> right, what do we do now then? Uh, okay, Glenn, talk to me. Nothing I can interact with here. Hmm. Okay, now what? Huh. There is literally nothing I can do. Oh, yes, I can. Oh! Ah, oh, that's very clever. Oh, disorienting as hell. So, cracking the wall. Alright, Glenn, talk to me. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Okay, so let's uh, come back to this corner here. No. Where do I get that from then? Hmm. Appears to be this way. Oh, you did that on purpose. Big stairs. Okay. To get up there, so let's pop you on the floor and then go. Oh my good! Oh, bye bye, bye world. Get me in that elevator now. Didn't like that. Falling is not good for me. Okay. Oh, through a wibbly and out here. All right then. Okay. What was that ding? Another ding. Perception is not reality. Okay. The tense music is doing my head in. Oh, that's not a not a buzz. Not good. All right, so we start again. So one and two is a ding. Oh, this way. Oh, that was a buzz this time. Okay. Well, that's a buzz too. So we don't want to go that way then. I can't go anywhere else. There's literally nothing else I can do. I have to go this way.
Yeah. Okay. What am I doing wrong? I can't get through those doors. They don't do anything. Oh, it dinged this time. Buzzed. What? Okay, so... Get on the buzz. I can't jump up there. I follow the arrows first then. No, because that's that still points that way and then it'll still buzz at me. Right, let me uh So we've got hall one. The arrow's pointing this way. Do I need to face this way? The arrow's facing this way again. Not buzz. Oh, I did buzz that time. So, again, arrow facing this way. Let's try one more time. Maybe we need to face away from the arrow. We've got a ding. So, this way for arrow faces this way. Was I doing that wrong? Yeah, okay. So we face away from the arrow. Arrow faces this way. Don't like not seeing where I'm going, but... Okay. Arrow faces this way. And hall 5, arrow faces that way, so I face this way. Oh! I'm in a car park. Or a tunnel or something. It's noisy as hell. I'm... What? Okay, I don't know where I am now. Right, so I need to... I can stand on the water. That's... Where's it gone? Where's up there? I needed it or not, I'm going to carry it with me. Music building up here is really tense. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering yeah. a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Did you not do that? Nah. I don't like that. I want to go through that, haven't I? Okay, down we go. Okay. There's something around this corner. I can see it. Oh! What is that? Washington licensed dream architect. Alright. That was weird. Alright. Let's carry on. That's where we came through. Ah! Oh, hello. Could you climb on top? The bed. This looks very 2001. I don't like it. It's all reflective and stuff. Ah! It's so jarring. 
This feels like some out of um, it's like the Harry Potter Ministry of Magic bit. Right, you're gonna make me wake up. Ah. Okay. Ah, oh, there's an arrow. Right, so let's go this way. Aha. But where? Got to look for the arrows. Keep going until I see another arrow. No more arrows. Oh, there we go. I mean, I'm thinking this is a fairly obvious puzzle. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Dream weight, okay. Ah! Bleh. That really hurt my head. Now right, get me out of here. Ah! I'm outside. There's no lift. What the... Where the flipping heck do I go? Go towards the moon. Seems like a safe bet. That's a wall. Okay, let's go this way. This looks like a building. Yeah, that's a building. That is also a building. This is... Um, Got no run. If you turn into a wall, I'm going to get annoyed. I am annoyed. Oh, bah. where did that come from? Right, I'll come to you in a minute. Ooh, I can move things. That's... Oh, okay. I already clicked it. That's fine. We'll wake up. It'll be a brand new day. I won't be quite so buggered in the mind. I need some audio phone. Okay. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients That's never good. do not have access to this dream. Well, I do, clearly. Okay. Okay then, where do I go? I mean, there's obviously something here. I can't get to it. I thought I might just be able to walk through it or something. Hmm. Well, that sounded bad. Okay. Oh, that's where I am. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Oh, that's interesting. Can I go out here then? <laughs> I've now made a loop. 
All right. Now what? Hmm. I'm wondering if I can need to shake it or something. Ow, fell on my face. Oh god, this is all going wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Let me, let me, let me, let me run away. Oh god, no. I've, I've done even worse now. Um, I'm blind. I'm outside or somewhere. What the flip? Ooh, pretty. There's all sorts of stuff that's not there. Okay, then. A big old fire exit sign up there. Not an exit. We'll see about that. Oh, my word. Yep, had a feeling that would happen. I was prepared. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can move that. There's still going to be something that makes me fall, isn't there? Where am I? Look out. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Okay. Any more some spare plants? Something over here. What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on a cone or something. Let's carry on. This is all very weird now. <clears throat> So white space was his dream. That's rain. Uh -oh. Okay, I don't like that. I don't want the horror again. Come on. Erase me, relax the at. Minerals, female toads. Ah. Okay. Look up. Okay. That was weird. Oh, we're back into this sort of place again. Just 
stretches on for miles and miles. I'd love to know how they designed this sort of game. It would absolutely fascinate me. No clip needs to do a, uh, a documentary on it. It's a Harry Truman type light. Harry Truman? A Truman show. There's going to be a drop. There's going to be a drop. No, there isn't. The door is getting higher. Ha ha ha, clever, clever, clever. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. What is this place? It's all very strange. A light switch? It's a big old light switch. To turn off the world. 